Hey, what's up guys? Um, making another video of unboxing and review video for of my new Xiaomi MI headphones. I've just received them in mail. Uh, these ones are called MI In-Ear Headphone Pro and uh, these are supposed to be very good. I've read some reviews online and they all recommended it. So because my Samsung headphones are on their way out and uh, like one uh, one ear has more volume than the other, it's it's really annoying when I go to gym and all that and so I thought I uh, might as well uh, buy the new headphones. So I was looking around I looked at some of the good ones from uh, Sony, JBL or Beats, they're like over 100 bucks but whereas this ones they're almost you know have the same specs and they look exactly the same uh, they, uh, uh, in other areas I would say they actually look better than some of the other headphones and they were only 35 bucks so I thought, oh well, I've, I've heard really good things about Xiaomi, so I might as well give them a shot. So let's open the case here. So anyway, before you do that, it's got all those barcodes and all that. I'm pretty sure you're not interested in that. So let's open this baby up. Whoa, look at that, looks beautiful. Here's the empty packaging. And now yeah, let's open this up. Okay, you got the information pamphlet, not interested in that. This is what I'm interested in. These are silicone ear tips. And to take them out, just open them through. Now it's supposed to have a Kevlar line as well, so it's supposed to be very durable. Okay, mm. well I can see one problem from here, that it has got silicon cable up here, and the Kevlar braided cable is only from your headphone jack, so that's the braided wire. Really decent long cable, only up to this splitter, and from here is all traditional silicon rubber cable. A little bit disappointed about that, but the build quality of the headphones themselves is beautiful, and they're all metal. And uh, I love the shape of the earbuds. Like uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna fit fairly well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook them up into my iPod. Goodbye, Samsung headphones. They've been good headphones, Samsung ones, and like they're almost two and a half year old, so it was time for them to retire. Okay, so let's plug it in. And what's best way to test your headphones with Viz Khalifa's black and yellow? I don't know if you can see it. But it's black and yellow. Okay, going in my ear. And uh, let's play it. The beat drop is coming. Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, these are really good. I hope you guys can hear it. Oh, the bass is amazing. Bass and the mids, yeah, it's, it's on point. Let's try another song. That's a uh, flow rider's whistle. Oh, 
Oh yeah, these are good. I hope you guys can hear it. So anyway, overall, these are pretty good headphones. Um, let me pause the song here. Yeah, these are really good headphones. The actual headphones themselves are very durable. They look very durable and they are, it's all metal. I'm a little bit disappointed with the cable length from the headphone to the splitter here. And, but apart from that, it, it they're actually pretty good. And here's the controller. Yeah, it's got three buttons there, obviously. It's for volume, play and pause. And I'm sure you can skip the songs with them too. So yeah, overall, I would highly actually recommend them. You know, I'm not regretting it. I'm a little bit disappointed with the cable here because I was expecting it to be all braided cable. But uh, for, you know, dollar to dollar, these are the best headphones you can buy. Like I've seen some other headphones for the same price. They're absolutely, you know, crap. You know, like the cheap of the cheap in the shops. But these are like premium headphones for, you know, price of a cheap headphone. So yeah. I give give it a thumbs up. Uh, uh, here we go. Yeah, thumbs up. And yeah, if you want to buy them, go ahead, man. Yeah, these are really good. Bye bye.